Psalm 34 verses 17 to 18, The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Psalm 42 verse 11, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance, and my God. Psalm 94 verse 19, In the multitude of my thoughts within me thy comforts delight my soul. Psalm 139 verses 23 to 24, Search me, O God, and know my heart, try me, and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear thou not, for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy God, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 43 verses 1 to 2, But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee, when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Matthew 11 verse 28, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. John 14 verse 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39, For I am persuaded, that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 15 verse 13, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that ye may abound in hope, through the power of the Holy Ghost. 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 to 4, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, who comforteth us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, Be careful for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Philippians 4 verse 19, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Hebrews 13 verses 5 to 6, Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. 1 Peter 5 verse 7, Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. 1 John 3 verse 20, For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart, and knoweth all things. 1 John 4 verse 18, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear of torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Revelation 21 verse 4, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, 
for the former things are passed away. Psalm 27 verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 55 verse 22, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee, he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Psalm 56 verse 3, What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. Psalm 94 verse 19, In the multitude of my thoughts within me thy comforts delight my soul. Psalm 147 verse 3, He healeth the broken in heart, and bindeth up their wounds. Isaiah 26 verse 3, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Isaiah 40 verse 31, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run, and not be weary, and they shall walk, and not faint. Matthew 6 verses 25 to 26, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Matthew 11 verses 29 to 30, Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. John 16 verse 33, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Romans 8 verse 28, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Romans 12 verse 12, Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly therefore will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 8, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Hebrews 4 verses 15 to 16, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy, and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews 13 verses 5 to 6, Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. James 1 verses 2 to 4, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. 
But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. 1 Peter 5 verses 6-7 Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Psalm 23 verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Psalm 46 verses 1 to 2, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Psalm 55 verse 22, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee, he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Psalm 139 verses 23 to 24, Search me, O God, and know my heart, try me, and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Isaiah 26 verses 3 to 4, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord for ever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Isaiah 43 verse 1, But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. Matthew 6 verse 34, Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. John 14 verse 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Romans 15 verse 13, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that ye may abound in hope, through the power of the Holy Ghost. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 8, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Hebrews 13 verses 5 to 6, Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. 1 Peter 5 verse 7, Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Revelation 21 verse 4, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8, And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee, he will be with thee, he will not fail thee, neither forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed. Psalm 30 verse 5, For his anger endureth, but a moment, in his favor is life, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Psalm 94 verse 19, 
In the multitude of my thoughts within me thy comforts delight my soul. Psalm 119 verse 165, Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them.